Hey Gina's and welcome back to All Things Boo. jump right into it surgery talk surgery talk listen i ain't never cared i don't have no shame in my game so we're gonna talk about surgery today so the doctor that we're gonna be talking about today is natalie bello um she's well known in dominican republic um uh, for her you know bbls her surgery basically just her plastic surgery she's known for in the dominican republic um, she really gives you that shape, you know, like she sucks you dry. She gives you that shape, that nice little, you know, so I thought. So, I was excited. I paid my deposit. I did all of that. And my surgery was booked for August 31st. What? So, I'm like lit. Like, I can't wait. I'm excited. You know, I did all my research. Like, I read the good and the bad on this lady. I'm like, oh, I know everything about her. Like, I know... All the bad things that people said about her. I know all the good things that people said about her. I know all the hidden things about her. Like, I've done my research. But this is why I want to be my doctor. Like, I'm just like, no. Like, this is why I want to be my doctor. And my friends had told me, like, no, listen. Like, because, you know, I have friends, you know. Um, I even have friends out there that, you know, told me, recommended her in DR. That was like, listen, go and, you know, go to this doctor. Basically, she's going to have you look snatched. So, I'm like, oh. So, after doing all my research, I'm like, nah, this is my doctor. I don't care what nobody says. Boom. So, two weeks before my surgery, they hit me up like, oh, listen, Natalie's not doing her surgeries. Like, she's not doing, um, you know, she's not doing surgery that week. That's your surgery day. So, we're going to move you up a week. So, I'm like, okay. I had just come back from a vacation from Puerto Rico. I'm like, okay. Um, but I made the arrangements. I changed my flight. I paid everything extra that I was supposed to pay. I did all of that. I changed the house that I was going to stay in. Spent extra money. But I'm like, listen, no. I've been waiting so long for now for this. This is my surgery day. I'm going. Like, I don't care. So, get there. First of all, it was a whole thing in the airport trying to get there. Oh, my God. Like, went to the airport. I thought I had, think, I think I had, thought I had checked in or something. But I wasn't checked in. So, then I ended up missing my flight. So then I was trying to get on another flight, which it was like a line, and then I ended up missing that flight. So then I ended up going like in the, um, then I ended up going like in the afternoon to get on a flight. And if you know DR, it's not like if you know DR, it's not really good to be driving around, you feel me, in the nighttime like that. One is really dark. Two, the roads can kind of get twisty and stuff, and it's like not well lit like here. And so I'm like, ugh, because my initial flight was like at five o'clock in the morning, six o'clock in the morning. So now that I'm waiting until the afternoon, it's like, no. Then as I'm waiting in the airport for my second flight, what happens? Delayed. So now I'm like, dang. But I didn't even worry about it really too much because I knew I had my friend come to get me. Like, you know what I'm saying? And he was going to drive, you feel me? So like I have friends out there, like a lot of friends, and they're really nice out there, like people out there is not like people out here you know like they really are different vibes anyways so i'm like i'm gonna be good he's gonna you know drive or whatever and i'm gonna be good so whatever i go we go in the morning bright and early like they say to go to the office of the dra natalie bello so big and glamorous right Okay, so I get to the place. I'm like, oh, okay. But you know, in DR, it's not like luxury like over here. Even nothing like, it's nothing like over here. Like in certain like stores and stuff like that. Things are like made differently. Hospitals, clinics, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, okay, whatever I go. And I'm waiting and waiting. First of all, the office is the size of a shoebox. Now, if you know, like, you know, shit out there could be like, I mean, sorry. Stores out there and stuff can be small, like closet small. But, listen, um, it was small. So it was me and my other girls just sitting there waiting around, waiting around. So we just waiting around and um, they, like I see a doctor, whatever that's doing, like my EKG and stuff like that. I paid, I think like $300 for that. Waiting around, waiting around. Finally, Candy comes in or whatever, whatever. She calls a couple of girls in and then finally she calls me in. 
So, you know, I'm thinking like she's like, you know, gonna be on some like a different type of time basically, right? But no, she's like, Oh, what have you been eating? What have you been doing? This and that and they're like trying to make it seem like I'm so obese, like and I could post a picture, like, and I'm gonna insert a picture of like my real body before. Like I had just came from PR, like my body was not I was not fat, I was never obese. You know what I'm saying? I was chubby, yeah, but not like crazy. You know, my main problem really was that I had my bit my daughter, and when I had my daughter, I had a C-section, so it made my skin kind of like like weird in the bottom, a little trifling in the bottom. So whatever. So I'm like telling her like nothing. I was just on vacation, blah blah blah. So now she's like, oh, get in the scale, get in the scale. So I get in the scale, blah, 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 and um, I had gained like six pounds from the weight that I had showed, like I said, I sent to her. So she's like, oh no, like, um, like what have you been doing? Like, like really just weird, like, you know, you knew you had surgery, da, 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 da. I'm like, all right, but you called me two weeks before, like the six pounds is nothing. Mind you, I had, when she told me that I had quit smoking, I had quit doing all that, so I couldn't really eat good, so everything really wasn't functioning great with me, like, you know what I mean? Like, my, you know, um, my digestive system. So, I'm like, okay. And when I say I quit smoking, I, I mean, like, bud, like, weed, like, I don't smoke cigarettes. So, I'm like, okay, no problem. So now I'm getting tight. I'm like, listen, I came or whatever. Like, I've seen bigger girls. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not about to, like, play with me. Like, now I'm getting tight. So basically, I'm telling her, like, listen, I just already paid all this money. Like, I did all this shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all not about to. Because I read this about her before. Like, they make up excuses when they're overbooked to basically get you out so that, you know, they don't really have to do your surgery because they don't have enough time. Because you just tried to reschedule a whole week's worth of surgeries into another week that you had booked with surgeries that doesn't make any sense you know what i'm saying so okay cool so now i'm gonna text her she's like listen go to the clinic over there that um she was at i'm trying to think about where she was at what clinic mm. i think it was Ascano that i went to see her because she does that at two different clinics monumental i think it's called and Ascano. i think i went to Ascano. that's where she was at and I was talking to her, whatever, and um, she's like, oh, what happened? Like, she was nice. She was like, oh, what happened, mommy? Da, da, da. So she looked at me. She's like, no, I can do your surgery. You're going to look good. Like, don't worry about it. She's like, go downstairs and finish your labs, right? And don't worry about it. Like, I'm going to do your surgery. You're going to look good. You're going to look beautiful. Like, I'm like, oh, okay. Like, I'm happy. Like, I'm because I was really upset. Now I'm thinking like, wow, I just found this bread. I just came down here and just did all this stuff. And I'm not even going to get my surgery. Like, so when she said that, I'm like, okay, I'm happy. She said I'm going to do my surgery. Like, we good. So I go downstairs. I pay another $300 or so, probably more, on the rest of the labs and all this stuff. Cool. Go back to the office. And she's like, oh, but we're not doing your surgery. So I'm like, how are you not doing my surgery? Like... And if you know me, like, I really don't care. And down there, like, people are a little bit nicer because, of course, you know, I'm from New York, blah, blah, blah. But, but I really don't care. Like, what? You're not doing my surgery. What do you, what? So, I'm like, okay, cool. I'm like, listen, I spoke to Natalie. She said she's going to do my surgery. And that's that. Like, don't play with me in here. So, now the other girls in there is like, wow, why y'all doing her like that, blah, blah. So, then some... I don't know, some Olga lady, some huge lady in the office talking about, like, I never even talked to her the whole day. She's going to tell me, like, oh, first of all, y'all need to mind y'all business because, basically, she was saying, like, y'all need to mind y'all business because you don't even know her story, like, her situation, and um, and her blood is low, it's a 12 or some shit, and, and, like, you know, like, if you have surgery, your blood has to be, like, a 13, 13.5, anything lower, they're not going to do your surgery, so... I already knew that my surgery was, I mean, that my blood was good because I had went to my doctor previously. I had made sure I did all my tests and stuff in the U.S. just to make sure that I was good before I went to the DR. So I knew what my blood was. I work in healthcare. I know, okay, what my blood is. And I know how to read labs. And I know how to do all of that. So when she said that, I ran downstairs to the lab and I got my, um, my results. 
And what got me tight was first they gave me the wrong person results. Then they gave me my results. And what did they say? 14.2, which is above what they even want from you. So now I'm like, y'all thought I was stupid. Like now y'all playing yourselves. Y'all getting me tight. Because now I'm getting like really upset. Like y'all really getting me tight now. I spent mad bread. And now y'all being weird talking about you don't want to do my surgery. So the nurse comes. She looks. She's like, yeah, huh? her blood is perfect. Da, 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 da. So then the other ladies are, oh, no, but the anesthesiologist said that she's not doing her surgery unless she lose 10 pounds. What? The anesthesiologist? I get so tight. I'm like, the same anesthesiologist that was just asking me what did Natalie say? Ooh. The same anesthesiologist that was just asking me what did Natalie say because she really wanted me to get my surgery? Now I'm on fire. I'm like, nah, nah, nah. Y'all got me my stuff in here. Like, y'all really, really don't know. So I'm like, listen, I am here really suck my fucking dick, basically, is what I said. And I was like, and I told the lady at the desk, like, I will really slap the shit out of you, basically. And I want my money. Send me a refund, because now y'all are playing with me. Like, I spent mad money. Like, I'm really nice. I'm really nice. But don't play with me and play with my intelligence. Then you're going to tell me that Natalie called you and was like, oh, best I love. Like, no, she did not. And if she did then she's that's a whole scam that they just did because why would she tell me go downstairs and spend more money on labs for you her to call you and just say oh pesalo, pesalo. like if i needed to lose the weight she should have told me like oh she needs to lose the weight period like right then and there like oh listen mommy i can't do your surgery you need to lose the weight but no you're gonna tell me to go downstairs and spend more hundreds of dollars to come back for you to call them and say whatever so that's why i went off the way i did it was like nah everybody could really suck my dick like, all y'all are a fucking disgrace. Don't play with me and my motherfucking money. Like, I don't... You're gonna run me my money. Like, I was really going off. Like, you're gonna give me my money. Period. Like, we not discussing nothing. Like, I don't care if you're talking about it's not refundable. You're giving me my deposit back, at least. Because it's crazy that you're gonna have me come down here when all you could have said is, listen, you know, Natalie's gonna be overbooked. Please, can we reschedule for another date, possibly? Because she's really not gonna have time. Instead of making me come down and do all this weird shit that I've read about about you... You know what I'm saying? And it just got me tight. And then I was even following some girl that had got a tummy tuck because that's what I got, like a tummy tuck. I wanted some a little bit of hips and a, um, a, a BBL or whatever and a little bit of lipo. And I was watching her or whatever. At first, her shit was looking nice, blah, blah. Then she ended up with a whole thing right here, like a whole pouch in her stomach, like a bulging pouch. She had to go back to the DR, which they didn't even fix it. She claimed she it was fluid that they drained it and all that. It's all fluid there. You want to know why? Because Natalie be doing um, liposuction in the stomach that you're not supposed to do when you get a tummy tuck. You're not supposed to do that. But she did it. And that's why she had that pouch of fluid right there. And that's why she had to go back and it still wasn't coming out right. She's going to try to say she busted a stitch. How did you bust a stitch? You know how hard it is to bust a stitch? Because there's girls that get surgery, right? They Right after surgery, they throwing up, they doing all of that. You're not busting your, your inside. It's really hard. You got to be doing something crazy out of your way. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, no. I, I feel like it's, it's a little bit of a scam. Then... To top it all off, my nurse or whatever, because I, I bought a, like, you know, a crib or whatever. I stood out there for almost a month. I did it, like, you know, that that way because I know people out there. Like, I'm good out there. It's not like, you know, when you go by yourself and this and that. And I didn't want to do recovery and stuff. And I'll explain that in another video. But I bought a crib. I had a nurse, you know, for myself. And she even told me, like, listen, like, don't even worry about it because Natalie's bodies is garbage. Like, they're a lie. It's a lie. She fucking fixes all her shit, her pictures, her videos. That's all a lie. Like, she was telling me. She's like, I took care of mad girls that went to Natalie. And their bodies never look like it looks on Instagram. She's like, I never I never took care of a girl, like, one girl. I never took care of one girl that came out looking good from Natalie. And that's crazy. So, I did have another quote with somebody else. I ended up getting my surgery. Um, the same day, thank God, with somebody else, I did have to change my crib and like, I mean, I did have to change my house and everything, but, um, I still have my surgery on the same day and I was very happy with my results and that will be another video. I will let y'all know who my surgeon was and thank God everything went well. I was very blessed with my doctor. Um, very happy. Oh, I'm going to talk about that in another video, like my doctor and everything else and how that went and my journey there.
I'm definitely going to post a few things for you guys to see that I did film for you guys along the way in the journey. Um, it did get me upset. Um, it did kind of depress me a little bit. I won't lie, but it all worked out in the end. And just not even to let, um, not even to leave this out, but I did end up writing Candy, which is her sister, which is, which is Natalie's sister, Candy. Um, I did end up writing her and I did end up saying like, listen, I was really just shocked with my experience, basically dealing with you guys and how y'all treated me, how y'all spoke to me, how many times y'all try to call me fat and all this stuff. And it was just really like disgraceful because it's like, you're supposed to be uplifting people and here you are tearing people down. And that's really disgusting. You know what I mean? So you guys, I'm not saying don't go to her or don't have surgery with her or she's horrible or anything like that but what i will say is do your research really look into it really make sure this is what you want because after it's done it's done and yeah like if you got it got it then you could just go right back and get around two with somebody else but you never know what could happen or what it could turn into so just do your research Make sure that this is what's right for you. Ask your friends. See if anybody else you know has went to her. You know, maybe it was just a bad experience for me. But like I've said, I've read other things like this about her that they lie about having this, low blood, this and that. So they don't do your surgery because they're overbooked, which is wrong. Because you spend all this money to come out there. And then you're left with trying to scramble to find another doctor that may not even be safe or something like that. So just double check, guys. It's really, really important. So yeah, guys, stay tuned for all the following content. It's going to be a lot, but I know you guys are going to enjoy it. Um, Thanks so much, guys, for tuning back in with me and staying loyal. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell for notifications, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, Genas.